I'm Julie Peacock. I'm the owner of the Jibo Elm Mill. We're in Shelter Cove on the Lost Coast. We've always called ourselves California's most remote brewery. The access to get all the way out here is really challenging. The only road in is in the 21 miles. It's super windy. It's definitely aptly named the Lost Coast. It's challenging for the people that live out here during all of this COVID, getting like the purveyors to come out here. Just us getting all our supplies has been really challenging. That's why we're really lucky to have the local fisherman Sam here, where we can almost constantly count on having the rockfish here. And that's one of our biggest, you know, sellers. The only time he can't get out is if it's weather dependent, it's too windy. He brings us our fish through the back door and oftentimes it's not even like an hour out of the water. And so then when people kind of freak out about our fish and chips because they love it, because it's like, you can't get fresher fish than that. Whatever we're buying, we want it to be like sustainably sourced. That's always been important, especially as like a mother of a daughter living on the ocean, right? Like you wanna be able to pass this on, this renewable resource, which it should be renewable, right? Um, onto the next generation. And so then being able to have Sam here and being able to know like that he's catching the fish in a sustainable way like that it's all hook and line that he's doing. And then knowing, you know, like Sam's got a family and I like, he's got two little boys and then being able to like support his family. And then he's in here eating, you know, like this whole cycle that goes around. Being able to have that relationship with a fisherman where you can call him up and be like, Sam, we're getting close. Can you hook us up? And he's like, I'm on it and he's out there fishing for us. And so, I don't know, like this is my first experience in the restaurant business. And so I would kind of hope that other people have that kind of relationship because it is pretty stellar. I mean, I want Jippo to always be like a destination place that people are gonna be like, Jared's gonna always make freaking amazing beer because he's just like an amazing brewer. For our food, to be able to use like the resources that we have here, be it the fish, be it, you know, Bryson Force Farm, our vegetables that he brings over being able to highlight those in the dishes that we create. I guess that would be the forward path. You know, just keep on ramping it up, I guess.